Okay, I'm going to stand over here and drive a little bit. I apologize, this uh, presentation isn't nearly as refined as my other one. Uh, but this is a personal project I've been working on through Code for Hawaii, and I'm calling it HRS Plus. And so we're here at the Hawaii Annual Code Challenge, and I volunteer for an organization called Code for Hawaii. So you hear the word code a lot. And if you look at the definition of code in Merriam-Webster's, it's a set of instructions for a computer. And I've got some Fortran down here, which probably most of you don't recognize. I know the governor does. Uh, <laughs> but if you look a little bit further up in the definitions for Merriam-Webster, there is code, a systematic statement of a body of law, especially one given statutory force. And I know that the governor is also familiar with this type of code as well. And I'm here saying that this type of code affects all of us a lot more than the other type of code, although the other one's getting a lot more influence, really. So code is everywhere. Uh, this is just you know, code that you see on like street signs and things like that, but they're all being referenced here. These are all pictures that I've taken, say for one of them. Uh, they're referencing specific Hawaii revised statutes. And the Hawaii revised statutes is the code that governs the state. So now, this is what the Hawaii revised statutes currently look like online. So I'm just gonna go to Google here, and I'm gonna type in Hawaii revised statutes. Okay, top link is from the Capitol, that looks good. Let's click it. That's the interface that we get. Half the page is taken up by the date that those things were updated. And then I have to, so I actually know how to navigate this, so I'm going pretty quick here. And I'm navigating down to uh, the code for the no smoking sign that we saw earlier, uh, 328J. Okay, so that we get there, what's the index for it, right? It's the top one, I know that, I know that. But there's just, there's a lot of contextual, I mean, this is what the web was made for, it was cross-linking all this stuff. I mean, that's why we have this. Right, so I can't even link to any particular, I mean this is just the, the section headings there, right? So there I finally got to the statute, and you can navigate the next and previous and things like that, but I think there's a lot that could be improved there. Uh, one of the things that could be improved, at least on the current Capital website, is there's a, there's a file called robots.txt in the top level directory, and what it does is it's not allowing any robots to crawl the site. And so what that means is that Google is not allowed to index the site. I can't use Google to search the code online. There's other services that have actually taken the code and put it online. They're full of ads. So I made this uh, application called HRS Plus, and uh, it's live right now. And I'll just real quickly go over the features here. It's got search, mobile navigation. You can directly link to the statute with a very short URL. Uh, I'm publishing the, the statutes in parse JSON format, so I'm actually getting the hierarchy of the code and putting that out in JSON format. So if other people want to come on and like, you know, roll their own, they can do that. And it's all static files. There's no backend DB or anything like that. So this is the, the site right here on my phone, and I can just type in, uh, Okay, Chief Information Technology, right? So I'll click on there, and it takes me to uh, CIO information, right? And it's just a much nicer interface, and I got immediately to the statute that I was interested in, right? And it also shows the hierarchy up there as well. Uh, that's not the right slide deck. And I apologize, I'm not quite sure. Okay, here we are. So beta two, uh, these features are in progress. You can browse by title, subchapter, title, subtitle, and you can also have direct links to the sub uh, to the subchapter as well. Um, I'm also parsing the references that are in there. There's history behind all this code, and so I have a large database that will tell me the original act that enacted that code, and then also uh, information that has the Hawaii Administrative Rules, which is the executive branch needs to actually enforce or basically implement these rules. And so that's, that's coming online here soon. Uh, the problem with this is a lot of this data is available from 99 after. Uh, anything before that, we need to go back and find some good sources for that. Uh, just some quick statistics I've gathered here. Uh, this shows the code in uh, bound volume, which is legally the only way that you can actually reference it. Uh, so don't use this, please, as a legal reference at all. I need to put a disclaimer on there. Um, but there's seven million words in the code right now. Uh, 12,000 pages, uh, 21,000 plus sections, 
And I have found a few minor typos, but it's amazingly, amazingly clean. I'd like to get those typos fixed because it'll fix my parsing code. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.